Thursday at 5 o'clock. Chelsea, what does that mean? It means we're reviewing your photos, and today we have special guest Manny Ortiz with us. He's an incredible portraits photographer, and he's going to be helping us give you critique and feedback and tips so you won't want to miss this episode. If you haven't already, you can submit your pictures at sdp.io slash submit, and hopefully we'll get to it. Uh, who makes all this possible? Squarespace. <laughs> Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful award-winning designer templates. It's super easy. If you can drag and drop, you can make one. And they have great 24-7 customer support. Get your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony and use the offer code portfolio for 10% off. If you already have a Squarespace portfolio, go to stp.io slash link and we will review your portfolio in the middle of the show. Um, next week, we are looking at your travel photos with Matt Granger. So after the show, you can go to stp.io slash submit and send them in. Are you okay, um, Manny? Uh, you know, I'm just restraining myself here. Are you trying to squash that beef with Granger? <laughs> Matt and, and Matt and Manny have this like Sam and Diane type of reference of a relationship going on between them. <laughs> yeah, they're like a buddy cop movie. Yeah. But Matt is in the comments now. I told him you can't, oh, yeah. troll, you can't troll Manny, I said. <laughs> Can't troll Manny. All right, let's get right into their photos. We have some awesome photos that I have pre-screened, and then we'll look at some live shots in just a little bit. What do you think, Manny? Wow, this is very captivating. I love the colors. Um, using window light, really nice light in the eyes. Um, the mood of it, I think, is what what would really what grabs me. The mood, for sure. I yeah. really like this one. I yeah. like the mood too, and I agree. The first thing. Uh, that grabbed me were the colors too. For yeah. Sure. Really nice colors. That like cinematic lighting, right? It's such a simple yeah. shot, but there's something that I found just really eye catching and captivating about it. This one oh, is, yeah. is a much busier shot, but at the same time, how do I pass up this one with like lightning in the background and stuff? <laughs> um, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It's like my eyes. I don't know where my eye wants to go to the lightning or her. Yeah. But it it I, is too much. Yeah. Um, cause she's not really, she's kind of blended in with the, the night, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you got this really like amazing, like lightning storm over here. So yeah, it, it's a, it's a little distracting, but I see what they were trying to do. You know, I would color balance a bit. And then I would also remove branding like Marriott Spring Hill suites. My eye went right to that. Um, oh, oh really? Probably product Did placement. it really? You, you didn't know. That's like the first thing I noticed. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a Marriott fan, Manny. I know, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Manny? Oh. Uh, right here. Okay. Um, looking at the poles and then looking up. Let me see. Yeah, I like that it's a really Thanks. nice, simple shot. Um, and I like the eye contact. Uh, there's no distractions in it. Go ahead, Manny. He's thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I, I think that they're doing, I think they shot this wide open. What did they shoot this on? What aperture? I don't have the metadata for it. Oh, yeah. It's, I think it's a little too wide open. I think everything is just falling out of focus way too fast. Mm -hmm. And and the hand, the way the hand kind of disappears on the right side, um, it kind of bothers me a little because I don't know what kind of, I don't know what's happening, you know, like what kind of, situation is this maybe a wider shot to show up the environment i don't know i think that from shooting from this angle i think it's missing something but she has a really nice smile it's it's you know it's nice i just feel like it's missing something you know a little context right yeah yeah hmm. yeah and the background blur is right hand. distracting i think you don't always have to shoot wide open especially if you have a clean background you can shut that aperture down get more stuff in focus and here, yeah, it's it's the boca is the focal point. For sure. I maybe bring it in the right hand, you know? I think that would have made it better. Yeah. I there was something uh, captivating about this shot. It's it's Loved kind of it. I don't know. There's something about it, right? Oh yeah. I mean, no, this is this this may remind I think when I see this I think of some kind of you you know those I I, I hate to say it, but like, you know those older obviously older portrait, older style portraits. It just has a real film like, like 1970s vibe to me, you know? Yeah, I get the same feeling. There's something very real about this portrait and I love the textures of her clothes, the velvet hat, the way the light hits it. 
Like she's styled really well, but you can tell it's just natural and real. This yeah. shot's awesome. I'm going to give this one a pick. Yeah, for sure. This one to me had an almost ethereal quality to it. And I th it's definitely been processed pretty heavily. Um, what do you think? Is it too much or is it just the right amount? Yeah, I think a little bit too much in the eyes. That right, that's the first thing I look at is in the eyes. I think it's a little bit overdone. Yeah, you know, um, I really love, she has big. Shoes. I was gonna say I really love the way you process your portraits, Manny. It's natural but still really eye catching. Um, if you're not familiar with Manny, you should check out his Instagram. I think Justin's gonna throw that up on the screen so you could check that out. You should follow him there because his pictures are really inspirational and his his editing is just beautiful. Natural but still has that wow factor. Um, and he also has his own YouTube channel, which you should definitely follow. He's an excellent photographer, a really good guy, and I love his content. So go give him a subscribe right now. And look at that beard. It's really nice. Yeah, I follow Manny's beard on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one, like a classic alley shot? Uh, we yeah, got the lines here, bringing the eye to the subject. Uh, beautiful light on the model. What you think, Manny? Uh, yeah, like you said, it's a classic shot, but I mean, they did it. They they did it really well. I think we're maybe removing some distractions, like a little piece of whatever on the on the right lower side. Right here. Um. Yeah, something simple like that, and I think it'd just be really clean. You know. Yeah, I might even drop the saturation on the background just like a hair because the colors in the streets are a little bit distracting to me. I wouldn't want to go yeah. spot color with it, but. Yeah, I like it though. I like it too. Because they, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like it right <laughs> off the bat. Yeah, what do you like about this one? <laughs> I, I, it's just, you know, the depth of field here really works. It does. It really, really works. Yeah. I like that it's such a commonly photographed location. I think everybody recognizes it right away, but the yep. context isn't distracting. It's not the same cheesy like picture of me in front of the Eiffel Tower that everybody has taken. Yeah. No, th this one is one of my favorites so far. I really like this one. All right, well, let's they give it a, a pick. pick. Great styling yeah. and pose too. Like that's, yeah. I think styling and pose are like 85% of the portrait. Would you add more contrast to the skin tones, Manny, or does this matte look work for you? I actually like the matte look for this one. What is that on her nose? Is that a piercing or? I think it's a piercing. Okay. Um, no, yeah, I really like it. It's just, it's a very it's a very like her expression is just very plain. But there's something about it. Yeah, I, I think I like the matte look for sure. Yeah. It's beautiful. I really like it. Yeah. I love the way she's right in between the Eiffel Tower too. Like she's framed by it. Yep. It's nice. Awesome shot, Henri. Love that. Winter photo shoot. What do you think? Like it? Don't like it? Love it or hate it? My thing is, is that snow real? I was just zooming in and yeah, I think it's real. It passes to me. What do you think, Charles? I'm trying to look for it like landing on the hat or something. I don't because know. Snow, snow never works the way you want it to. Like there's always like the, <laughs> like a piece right next to her nose or something. And you know, but maybe they cleaned it up, you know? Um, so if it's not real, but you can't tell, does that bother you? Like, why does the authenticity of it matter to you? No, I was just, I was just curious, actually. Um, it, yeah. It's it's not, I mean, it's it's done right. I and mean, you can't tell right away. You know, there's some really cheap ways to do it, but um, yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Um, it bothers me that the yeah. one eye that you can see is being, <laughs> it's being cut off by her nose and the other one's being cut off by her hat. I would like... I'd like to see her eyes since that, I think it's being framed by her hat. It's really the focal point of the picture, but it's, it's being interrupted. Yeah. That's my next thing. Yeah. The eye definitely. Gosh, we're done. I love this photo. Yeah. I'm going to give this one too. <laughs> I like it. You do? I like this one. Yeah, I do. Don't you it's think just like, he, he's like an old, like he's just a badass, you know? Yeah. I feel like he works on this car in his garage. One of my favorites yeah. is when a portrait actually tells you something deeper about the person, not just what this person looks like, but who they are. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. I kind of know a lot about this guy from this one shot. Not only that, but like the lighting and composition, everything is really nice, but mostly it's, it has character to it. Yeah. And the, the processing, they match the whole mood. Like the model of the car matches the processing. It has this soft kind of like seventies retro vibe. It's really awesome. 
Yeah, Can I really just make cool tones and the the way it complements the the color of the car, I think, and the brown from the seat. It's just everything's just yeah. The tones are are beautiful. They are. A technical suggestion: you're at one four thousands and ISO four hundred. Drop it to one one thousands and ISO one hundred. You got plenty of light. Just lock in that base ISO. They might. I wonder if they wanted some noise to make it look more to like match the vibe. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know some people do that, but I'd rather add fake grain in afterwards. Yeah. That's what I do. Same thing with this, one four thousandths and one an ISO 400. I don't know. I'd drop that down. What do you wow. think of this photo? You love this one, Manny? That is beautiful. It is beautiful. Executed. Tony, would you crop this? Um, I don't think so. I'm giving it a pick. I just, Whoa. I like the way her skin tones really pop off the green there. Yeah, awesome shot. Yeah, her skin, yeah. Her skin tones are so beautiful. Um, can I ask you guys, in both of these last two pictures, I oh, that one has a subtle white point. I just noticed that they're a little far to the left. That doesn't bump you at all? Um, I think for these last two, it kind of like matches the mood. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you yeah. know, maybe we could make this one pop a little bit. I mean, you're right, Justin, but y yeah, that to me, the muted feeling did feel intentional. And, and I feel like, like, let's give this shot a white point and... I know I preach this white point thing all the time. I think her skin is going to look too yeah. blown out. Yeah, there is something about, it depends on the monitor and the screen, but when you get too far towards the rights, uh, you can lose like a little bit of detail, even if it's not properly clipped. Um, just depends on the monitor. And yeah, when you don't want the skin tones to be like that. But I, at the same time, I adjusted. I thought it looked okay. We're going to give this one a pick too. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, speaking definitely. of white points, this is like a properly high key <laughs> shot. Yeah. Um, so we got some, you got wrinkles in your backdrop, Manny, or you got a solution for that? I use paper. That's. Oh, and you just yeah. get rid of it all the time? Yeah, I don't like wrinkles, so I don't use, uh, like, the. I don't use the, what is that, the muslin? Or... Yeah, there's yeah, muslin. Yeah, this might be vinyl. Paper. We have vinyl, and it's wrinkled. You would think the plastic would stay straight, but it's just a mess. I got to go to paper, maybe. Um, Sam, do you have any questions or comments for Manny? Hey, guys. Yeah. So uh, Manny's getting a lot of love in the in the comments. Good. Okay. And, he deserves uh, it. I mean, especially from Matt Granger, who said that fake beard, though. <laughs> he's my biggest He's my biggest fan, by the way. So <laughs> um, Havoc. Uh, oh, actually, I have a question specifically uh, for Manny. Ha uh, Havoc0701 says, Manny. Do you recommend uh, the A7R3 uh, plus G Master 70 to 200 F2.8 for portraits? Do I recommend it? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it's that's what I actually have it connected to right now somewhere in my room. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um, you just have to, you just have to under, you have to d decide if you want 42 megapixels because after a while, it's going to slow down your workflow. So you just got to make sure that's what you're, that's what you want, but that's a great combo, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you, they um, say R three or just A seven three? Oh, you know what? I think maybe they. I my brain just went to R. It was three. Yeah, that twenty four megapixel okay. camera. That's what most portrait photographers should be using, probably, because <laughs> you're right. It slows everything down. All right. So sorry, you're probably picking up my dog drinking water next to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Adam Hansen, question for Manny. Where are your favorite places in Chicago to shoot? And would you ever do some sort of photography tour slash event in Chicago? Yeah, photo walks. Um, I actually have, a, I'm doing a photo walk with Out of Chicago, the conference uh, with Joe Edelman. So uh, look out for that. And my favorite place to shoot in Chicago, I love urban environments. So I'm always shooting under the tracks where I can incorporate that in my scene, parking lots, um, just in, in the heart of downtown. That's where I like to shoot. I would love to come shoot in Chicago with you. We need yeah, to go many field. I need people, to go back. <laughs> people are concerned, Tony, that you're not cropping enough. I am so sorry to disappoint my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't felt like any of these shots needed to be no. cropped. Not everything needs to be cropped. I did want to brighten this one up, though. Um, this is a different type of shot. What do you think, Manny? It, it feels like very 50s to me, kind of Marilyn Monroe-esque. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I would like to know what like what their thought process was on this. I think they're definitely going for a retro look. I think they they got it. They achieved it with the glasses, the styling. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously they're going for like a sexy look. Um, yeah, I like it. There are some small things that stand out just because the photo's so symmetrical. Um, her clothes are really like bunched up right here, and I would fix that, preferably when you're shooting. But in post, you could always do it too. Um, but yeah, I like this one too. Yeah. Um, I really love this one, like heavily processed, lots of toning and filtering here. Um, look at the histo. There's no blacks or whites, but at the same time, it's got this great feel to it. You get this sense of, um, the environment from the reflection, like it's a, a farm. You just said histo. That was so cool. Yeah. Who's got time for that last syllable? <laughs> um, what very do you think, moody. Manny? Very moody, very, it's like out of a, out of a movie, you know, like a movie scene or something. Yeah, I agree. I like it. Yeah. Me too. These are great this week. You brought the talent, Manny. I think you, Hell yeah. you drew up the talent, you know? <laughs> I felt like the shot was missing something and maybe you can identify it, Manny, but I like the kind of environmental shot. Like I feel like she's a graffiti artist and we're telling that story there, but at the same time, I don't know. There's something unrefined about it. Yeah, I think I think she needs a little bit more. Yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe she needs a little. Maybe give her something else to to give her that graffiti artist look. You know, just a little bit more styling on her. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. You know, I think she looks great, but um, I don't think that her styling is really a part of the story. Because like, I don't think people do graffiti in their underwear. I don't know if I'm the only one. Yeah, I think you're right. That's the thing that's missing is her styling and the pose are very glam, but that doesn't mesh with the sort of graffiti artist lifestyle. Yeah, that's what it is. So maybe if she I mean, just maybe it was too hot, guys. Come that's on. true. That's true. <laughs> but I think I I do one or the other. Like either she's the graffiti artist and she looks like it, and she, that's like a part of the story, or she's doing a lingerie type shoot. In like a I quote. think she needs to be covered in paint. Like her arms should have paint on them, and like her Something hair should like be a little yeah. messier. Yeah, I Something noticed like straight that, but, away. Yeah, but they did a great job with lighting yes. and uh, retouching for sure. Definitely, they're probably like these nerds. They want yeah, everything right? to be accurate. <laughs> Channel, I like it. Me too. What do you like about it? Yeah, I like it. Manny likes it. I like it, yeah. I, okay. I think it's, you know, we, we we see it a lot, but it looks really good, well executed. Yeah, I generally like the color of it, and I, yeah, I guess I have a hard time explaining why I like it too, but it caught my eye. There's something I interesting think, and different about it. I think for this kind of shot, I would go for more moody tones. I'd go for more like, like bluish green, you know, darker. Um, yeah, I tone it up like just a little bit darker. Um, that's just me though. I agree with you. I think because it's such a creative shot, the processing needs to be a little more moody and creative. Yeah. And she has her eyes closed too, you know? So it's like, what is she thinking about? What is she feeling? Yeah. And it's, it's usually like, you know, sad and yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's what I think. So nice shot, Jan. Yeah. I'm going to jump nice. to the next one. Whoa. What about the use of light hey. here? Yeah, she has just a really striking eyes. Um, wow, complexion. There is a lot. There is a lot going on here. Like the colors of the the scarf, the freckles, the green eyes. But this is a really eye catching shot. I think I I'm going to give this a pick. I, I like it. I don't think I even oh, have yeah. any critique. There's nothing I'd change about it. It's it's, it's eye amazing. catching. Yeah. I think it's amazing too, and I think so many people do a head wrap, and it can be really <clears throat> cliche but he did everything right with it. Like it's still different and the lighting is really interesting and her face is very interesting. Very good. This is great. That's I need to find me someone with freckles. I love freckles. Man, it's amazing. <laughs> My daughter has freckles. Photo hey, shoot. Chicago, <laughs> come through. <laughs> Maddie's beautiful. Is she, you, you, she, I love her freckles. Every time you post pictures, I'm like, oh, those freckles. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little biased, but I do think she's cute. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, what do you, are you feeling this one, Manny? Um, 
I like it. I just I just feel like it doesn't grab this is just doesn't grab my attention so much, you know. I like the styling, but I think the location is still too busy. Um, you know, like we have this plaque that's against the wall and then there's this door behind her that I feel like is a little distracting. Um, but I think the light on her is really nice. I think the pose is, the is so bothering stiff. anybody else? The fact that it's so symmetrical. That's what's bugging me. Mm, too perfect. Yeah, she just her arm, her arms are the same distance apart. Her legs are the same distance apart. I just I don't know. Just I feel like she. Needs I like to, it though. Yeah, I, I like it though. I see what you mean, but I def I like it though. I think they did a pretty good job, especially on a technical from a technical perspective. Yeah, I think from a technical Wait. perspective, they nailed it. I think it's the posing and face that need a little. Yeah. Coaching. Well, why don't yeah. we take a look at a portfolio? Uh, you and, have a portfolio, Manny. Yeah, I do. Um, it's not very updated, but yeah, I do. Cool. You guys should check that out too. Manny's <laughs> everywhere. Okay, William Rustin uh, in his portfolio. Uh, I'm kind of scrolling through here. Well, William's got a little bit of everything. Can yeah. I? My first thought is let's drop the watermark because, especially in all these pictures, it becomes so repetitive. Yeah. Um, I also feel like this has got to get filtered down. Like this here is an amazing bird shot and Love this it. is not like there's no catch light in the eye. He's kind of looking away the shot. Very cool. Really interesting. You got solar flare going on there. And then this is just a shot of some flowers. There's nothing particularly striking for me about it. Same here. Like the birds kind of looking away. Um, so I think William have like the shots. Awesome. Like yep. maybe you should lead with that. Um, this one feels like, you know, a million smartphone sunset photos that I've seen, and maybe it can just be dropped, especially if it's going to be that large. Um, this bird shot can go, I think. So I guess my first thought is uh, pair this way down. Uh, let's find out a little bit about William. Yeah, William has great photography. He just needs to narrow it down a little bit. I think it's just, you know, kind of everywhere right now. <clears throat> Okay, so he's got a good about page. Uh, there's no contact information that I see. Oh, he's got a separate page for that. I think I'd like to see William uh, taking a picture, though. Get Linda take your picture while you're taking a picture. <laughs> Come on, Linda. <laughs> okay, let's see what William had to say about Squarespace. He said, it is fairly easy to set up. There is lots of support on YouTube and step-by-step -step guides to get you up and running. I'll know more if I can get my business started. Thanks for checking out Squarespace, William. Uh, we love their por their portfolios, and they do all sorts of different types of websites, doctors' offices, restaurants, whatever you got. Squarespace can handle it. If you want your own Squarespace portfolio, go to squarespace.com/tony. Get a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. Use the coupon code Portfolio after that trial, and you'll get yourself 10% off. Dang, that was fire! You're like a rapper now. Yeah, and I can't talk anymore because my voice is kind of shot as it is. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm going to import, import some more pictures if you want to. I wanted to ask throw out Manny some questions. Some questions oh, you got a question. And then okay. we'll, I'll ask Sam too. But um, Manny, like, what is your favorite lens right now? Do you have one? Hey, I'm an 85 kind of guy. Yeah. Which 85 yeah. do you have? I got the G Master, the 1.4. Yeah, that's nice. I really like working with the 85 too. I think the pictures come out beautiful. Um, I was wondering because, like, I really love your shots. You get that nice background blur going, they look good. Do you yeah, think there's, is my go -to. do you think there's ever a time when people um the depth of field is too shallow for portraits like people are blurring way too much going too crazy with that yeah i think that i think that people think getting a lot of background blur will automatically just you know give them an interesting photo or make their photo look professional and lately i've actually been toning down the, the background blur and been doing just giving my, my pictures more of an environment, more context. Um, yeah. So I, I don't want, I, I've seen a funny meme today where it said depth of field or background blur is not a style. And that's so true. Yeah, I agree with you. But I think it has become kind of a trend to just blur things out <coughs> until you can't tell where the person is even. It's just become so abstract. Yeah. Um, Sam, do you have any questions for Manny? I have a lot of questions here. Um, Manny's popular. Yeah. Are they all from uh, Matt Granger? Stop. Uh, Matt Granger only said one thing. He said, Sam, can you ask Manny who his favorite Australians are? <laughs> 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 um, 
But in all seriousness, we have uh, Talon Gagnon uh, did a paid comment. He just wants to say, love all of your content. And I sit down every week to watch the streams, keep up the good work. Um, Taylor Smith says, I have a question. Is it common to use your camera's internal settings like camera landscape, camera portrait, or switching to those settings in Lightroom when editing? Is that considered cheating? What do you think, Manny? No. Um, I mean, I personally don't use that, but that's not cheating at all. It's just taking advantage of what the camera has to offer, I, I guess. I agree with you. I but totally I, agree. But I wouldn't use it. <laughs> I don't use it either, but if it works for you, yeah, go for it. What else, Sam? Um, Mr. Viptismi says, question for Manny. Is it okay to take portraits of strangers on the street? Uh <laughs> It says, I all natural, oh, probably in, in all natural light instead of going to the studio with a model for starters. So it sounds like maybe they're just starting out. Yeah, um, I, I don't shoot much in the studio. I actually like shooting outdoors. I think it's just, it's more, it just makes it more fun. Um, shooting with available that, light. Yeah. I think their question is about is using strangers on the street. Oh, <laughs> strangers. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of difficult if you have an if you have an outgoing personality, and you know how to make people feel comfortable, then go for it. Like me, I'm super awkward, and I can <laughs> no, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, you have a shout out from a Harley Cooper. What's up, Manny? So awesome to see you on this show. Absolutely amazing. Awesome, thanks, man. Um. This one is for Tony and Chelsea. Martin Wolf says, you always raise the white slider. Would you also adjust the white point in a picture of a black cat in a forest at night? <laughs> what a smart Alec, Martin. I don't need that. And yeah, I probably would. <laughs> so if you have not checked out Manny's YouTube yet, go and subscribe. Give him some support. He's incredibly talented. Uh, his videos are excellent, too. You never sleep, Thank do you. you, Manny? You're always working. I just spent a few days with Manny, and he was, like, always working. Yeah, that guy's got hustle. Always. Yeah. Let's yeah, take a look I, at a few I, more photos submitted during the show. Okay. Here's one from Koa. Um, I like the really colorful black background. She's got, you know, very monochromatic styling. What do you think, Manny? It, it almost seems like something's moving in the background, right? Yeah, maybe it's a Ferris wheel or something. Yeah, then I think that they executed really well. If that's something moving, you know, because they obviously have to drag the shutter a little bit. Um, is it sharp? I, they missed focus a little bit. Oh, that's tough. Okay. But it doesn't look bad zoomed out. Just when I zoomed in, I can see behind her is more focused. Yeah, it's back focused. No, I think it's really nice. But maybe it should be more like a tighter shot. Like, I feel like the pose falls apart kind of below her waist. Hmm. It can be really difficult to do full body posing. I like it. I see what you mean. The line between her legs, the little, the sh you know. Yeah, and her back is just like so straight. I don't, I don't know. Something about the pose. It's tough. Yeah. I thought her hand looked nice. Posing hands is so hard. Oh, yeah. This is very, it's, it has like a senior portrait vibe to me, don't you think? Like you see, her hand is kind of almost visible here, but not quite in the frame and she's like almost completely sideways, which feels awkward, but I love the environment. Yeah. yeah I love the environment. I don't know if I would center off the barn. You yeah. know, I wouldn't know if I, I, I think I'd may, maybe take a, diff, a little bit of a different angle to it. Could crop in where there's less sky on one side, or I don't know, maybe it maybe that's what they're going for. But um, overall I do like it though. Yeah. It's very right heavy to me. But also, she's entirely in the bottom half of the frame, which feels a little unbalanced. I guess the composition's a little unbalanced. Um, yeah, I'd probably crop in a little bit. Yeah, so you'd crop in? Um, they, I, think, I think they lowered the blues luminance a little bit too much, and they got this, like, fringy look, which I noticed right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then, for me, there's a lot of green tones in the picture. I might just do a little bit different toning with the colors. Mm -hmm. But um, I like her uh, natural expression. I think that her styling yeah. matches the environment and the overall mood of the photo. So that's really good. What about this baby? <laughs> How can you not love this? I know. It's really cute. It's basically cheating, honestly. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give oh, look at those eyes. Claire here a pic. Really cute picture. No distractions yeah. in it. Baby's wearing white. Number one thing. Babies always have these super colorful outfits that'll just ruin a portrait for you. You hate baby style? <laughs> Um, 
I like these kind of like male glamour shots. Dude's all wearing a tux with his bends. Um, are his are his feet cropped out, or is that just like the loading? No, no they're cropped, they're cropped out. out, and it does feel a little weird. Yeah. That's maybe maybe he had bad out. shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would def. I hate cropping the right there from the ankle. You know, it's a weird crop. Cropping at the joints is a no-no, right? You have to crop in between. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else about the shot? What do you think of the the processing? A little overdone, or do you like that? Uh, yeah, they did a little too much to the shadows. I think, I think it's a little bit overdone. It just, I think they did the same thing with the sky, right? They kind of brought it back. Yeah, it seems like. Yeah. Also, his bow ties yeah, all skewed. That's why you need yeah. an assistant on the set. They're just looking at little details like that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a good bow tie eye, Tony. <laughs> bow tie eye. <laughs> Okay, so we got a sunset in the background. They're balancing it with flash off to camera right. Um, the exposure looks right. That is real hard. Um, what do you think, Manny? Do you do you do? Yeah, you shoot weddings, but I think you pared it down some, right? Yeah, I definitely toned it down because of YouTube. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I used to shoot a lot of weddings, a lot of off-camera flash in weddings, and um, I think this is really well executed. It's it's hard to get the dress perfect like that, and then get the light on both of their faces. Usually, you know. You, you you hit the groom and then you kind of miss the bride. I think they did a good job creating like a really moody image here with good exposure on both of them. Really soft hands. And, and yeah, I like it. I like it too. Good job, Ryan. Is this the same cute baby? Yeah, that's Claire again. Ah, one, one picture. That's nice cheating. Claire. She's <laughs> tricky that way. <laughs> um, I don't, this bugs me because it makes me feel like he's got a really long head. Like one of those pinheads or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the processing. I don't like the green and the brick in the in the back. Me either. Yeah, yeah, green isn't the best. Oh, I like this a lot more in black and white. I still wish I would yeah. see a little more of the shape of his I'm head. I'm doing it. I'm doing the first crop of the night. I can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I feel like eight there by ten go. is like the right proportion for portraits too. Let's pop through and find something that really catches the eye. Here's some color. That's some mm. gold. Got a burning background. You like that? I like it. I think it's just a little too distracting, though. Yeah, it's pretty overpowering, it especially because I want there to be a story. I don't know what's going on, though. For a Tony, fire. crop it. Tony, second crop of the day, baby. Let's do it. I'm oh, doing yeah. it. I'm going for it. This is all Chelsea. Chelsea because she, North Crop. Chelsea <laughs> North Crop. <laughs> That's what they call her. No one calls me that. Oops. Oh, uh, you know, I think a one by one Instagram crop could really work for this picture. You want to try yes. it? Yes. Yeah, because yes. there's so much do it. background. He's so supportive. Oh, <laughs> Let's do it. I could see this on the Explorer page of Instagram. Yeah, I like it. There you go. We just saved you, Eddie. I like her You're bones. You're going to be a hit. <laughs> uh, I'm just skipping through to something that really catches our eyes because we got to get out of here pretty soon. Dang, this is like a classic studio portrait, but um, he's got like a really good gaze. He's looking off camera because men don't look at you. They always look away. Uh, the hair is like perfect. Men don't look at you. This is a good opportunity <laughs> for a back, for a little bit of backlight and some yeah. good toning and some really good toning because I feel like this is, looks like almost like straight out of camera. Yeah. Okay. Little, get some toning and maybe just a, just a kicker light just to give the, oh, just a little bit of backlight and it would be amazing. Yeah. They're like ninety nine percent there, right? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, I like that one. Wait, let's hold on. <laughs> yeah, that we gotta give so him cool. a pick. And then I like this one. Mm -hmm. Just smoking in the forest. Yeah, super wide angle lens. Just as you do, just right up against this the is ivy. An interesting perspective and his, his his expression, the way he's looking at you with his eyes. You know. Mm hmm. You know what? There's Wait, actually something captivating about it. A wide is. angle can be good for portraits. Gampad always does that. It never looks good, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> tell me. First impression, Manny. Just tell me what you think. Did, that, did I just freeze you? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, man. I broke Manny. I'll tell you my first impression. Two words. Glamour shots. 
Um, I think she's a beautiful model, but her skin is too smoothy smooth. Yeah, that, I guess that's what I was feeling. Like it's the just word been smoothie smooth? airbrush a little too much. I miss Manny. We had so much fun together. Um, I feel like the greens are too much on this. Like I like the compliment. Uh, maybe I'd tone the greens more closely to her uh, necklace. Jade Forest. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. He is so being sad. so serious, right? He's not allowed out of there. Stuck in there. Are you back, Manny? Um, Manny left. Um, so I think that the solar flare is fake. I would just tone it down a little bit. Oh yeah, I would get rid of that. That. But I love her expression in her eyes, and I love the way she's touching her hair because it's like leads you up to those beautiful eyes. Um, but just stop with all that. Don't do that to me, Adam. Ooh. Oh, this one's really eye catching, right? I like the kind of one eye hidden away. I like the bokeh balls. Whoa, this is my kind of gal, just candy. <laughs> Fun. Can you guys hear me? I'm back. There you yeah. are, Manny. Thanks. Manny's back. Thanks for coming back. I thought maybe I offended you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your name is not Matt, so you're okay. <laughs> Manny, first impression of this picture. Go. 1990 headshot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty brutal, but I'm not going to just... It's more got a, got a classic feel to it, you know? Oh, okay. I hate to say it, but people in the, in the chat were saying he wasn't being, he wasn't critiquing enough, so they'll probably like that. Okay, be meaner, Manny. <laughs> I think they cropped out a little too much of the hand and they left too much space above the head. It's a little unbalanced. Yeah, I feel weird about his thumb. It's like, you remember that Steve Jobs biography? It's like, just like that cover. Oh, You're yeah. Right. You're oh, right. Oh, I thought he was like this. Also, his glasses are a little crooked. <laughs> Poor person. Whoa, what, why was that picture there? Those are like portraits and like selfies or selfies, right? I don't know. His outfit's on point, though. <laughs> um, we got to oh, head out. this one's beautiful. Yeah, there is something really, like, Perfect styling, right? Just classic beauty dish right above the eye line. Yeah, I think it just needs a little cropping and um Ooh. everything else is everything else is good. Yeah. Yeah, really nice retouching on the skin. Beautiful. How do you feel about spot color, Manny? I'm not a big fan of it. That's how I started. I started using it and then I'm just like, Oh wait, no, that was a big mistake. I don't uh, think can you please see some of those pictures, Manny? Color. <laughs> hmm? I don't think that's spot color. It looks like spot color to me. Look at the skirt, the blue. She's just very dark. I, I oh, you're right. But what about the wall? It has no color. Yeah. But it's a, yep. just a cement wall to me. I think she looks more gray. No. I do see. Wait. Hey, look, you can see some. No, you crank the saturation up, I think. <laughs> right? There's some orange in her skin. and. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that the wall is just like, her skin is like a a gray tone, and then the wall is also gray. Yeah. Oh. Cause her wow. her clothes are so bright. Well in that case maybe the answer is black and white. Yeah, that's it. Uh I think with some adjustments. With... Yeah, we gotta pull the brightness to that shawl down some. Yeah. Wow, I love this. Talk to me, Manny. Ooh. What are you feeling right now? Well I got the Instagram vibes going. <laughs> yeah. I you like the, the Insta vibes. I like them. You got a little fanny pack. You notice the fanny pack though? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because fanny tired. packs are coming back. I just got you one. Yeah, they're Damn. so functional. Yeah, I love the styling on this one for sure. Oh, this one's Ooh, great. I like that. Oh, yeah. See, we. this is beautiful. What do you like? What this, grabs you? What do you think works? This, this is when shooting wide open works, when you have a lot of foreground distractions, because it's, it's adding a lot of like um, just really nice effects to her face like even though she's being blocked by this by this piece of grass that little bit of just it blurring out in the foreground looks beautiful yeah and it's framing her eyes mm -hmm. yeah awesome shot this is a little terrifying where are these children are they safe why is everything purple what has happened to this world this is like the willy wonka <laughs> front yard the kids are cute the kids are cute yeah. okay do we have any last questions or comments for Manny before we have to go, Sam? Sure. Um, okay. So Car 
Sharir says, Manny is being too nice. Come on, criticize. So I think I already said that before. Um, okay. Uh, Photo me, Ike guy says, I just came on the show to support Manny Ortiz. Tony and Chelsea, you're about to hit that million. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> we'll get Manny closer too, guys. You have to go subscribe. Um, on, uh, Andre Garcia says, um, Manny, what lens would you recommend for portrait micro four third system? Oh, I think Tony, you could answer this better. Cause I'd never used micro four third. Yeah. The inexpensive option is the 45 F one a, and, uh, the more expensive option is the 75 something. Yeah. What is it, Justin? Like uh, F one two or I think uh, yeah. maybe it's F one two. We, we have it and yeah. it is stunning cause it we is. use it for video sometimes. Yep. I have one final question. I think that's a good one for Manny to end with. And it's Manny, Great. do you have any challenges for yourself this year? I'm, I am going to style my photo shoots better. I'm going to hire a stylist. I think that YouTube kind of hinders my styling because I'm, I'm too worried about the, the video side and the whole production side. I think that I need to focus more on like a more edit. I want to do more editorial work. So I guess, I got to put more thought, pro, uh, more of a thought process into my photo shoots, create a mood board. Lately, I've been a little lazy, but no, I got to, I got to ramp it up a little bit. For I sure. find it hard to believe that you've been lazy, but I do think that's a good goal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do have one more if you want it. Otherwise, uh, we can shelf it. Sure. Throw it out there. Uh, Tommy Papa says, uh, Manny's thoughts on the 85 one, uh, F1.8, because since he uses the 1.4 master for Sony, a uh, A7R three. So, what are your thoughts on the eighty five one eight? If if I had to start over, considering the thousand dollar difference between the one point eight one point four, I'm definitely going with the one eight. Not only because it's lighter, but with a thousand dollars, I can get some other stuff, some other goodies. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Before we go, sense. I want to congratulate last week's winner. When we give you a pick, we're not just doing it for funsies we enter you into a voting pool and you could possibly win last week's winner was caleb rain uh you can go to sdp.io slash vote after the show and vote on your favorite photo and then they'll be a winner too caleb you're winning a 20 dollars gift certificate to our store at sdp.io slash store and a one year subscription to adobe uh their photography bundle which is photoshop and lightroom that is an awesome prize you like that man congrats caleb oh look you get applause Nice. makes and me thanks. feel like oprah i'm like you get one you get you one <laughs> thanks to our sponsor squarespace if you want your own awesome portfolio visit squarespace.com slash tony 14 day free trial no credit card required if you love it use the coupon code portfolio and you'll get 10 percent off next week it's matt granger and we're reviewing your travel photos you can go to stp.io slash submit after this show is done the best shots will be cold and we'll show a few of them and then the rest will pull from people submitting it during the live feed. Manny, thanks so much for joining. Will you come back Thank and you. bring Diana? Yeah. And next time, I promise you, Diana will be here and she will be here to entertain. Okay. I Trust did me. invite Diana, but she couldn't make it. But I love her. She's hilarious. So when they come back, yeah. you'll have to tune in. There are some people asking for her. She's yeah. the best. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she is the best. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Diana. <laughs> She'll be you. here next time. All right. Thank Bye. you, Manny. Thank you, Sam. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Bye, guys. Justin. Thank you. Bye. That is all. You did a great job, Manny. Yeah, awesome show. Thanks, guys.